welcome back. Today we are talking about the Makeup Revolution um, collaboration with Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube with her eyeshadow palette, the Emily Edit, and it is the Wants palette. Uh, you can get this at Ulta and MakeupRevolution.com. It's $20 and you get 24 eyeshadows in it. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Now, I did do three um, different looks here that, I'm, that I used with the palette. So I'm going to show them to you um, in a minute here, the different looks that you can create. But there's so many more that you can create with this palette. Um, this is, like I said, this is the palette right here. It is a plastic hard... Um, cover palette and everything and I really like it how it has like that peachy that peachy pink look to it and then her name all the writing is in like a rose gold color which you know me anything rose gold I'm like gotta get so yeah it has all that and then you open it up and you get like this ginormous I'm trying not to blind you with the ring light and everything you get like this ginormous mirror like look at this like seriously like look at that it's like the mirror is the whole size of this like so if you're like I mean, to travel, take this traveling with you, it's, like, phenomenal. Because you have, like, this huge, like, mirror. It's insane, insane. And I just, like, completely appreciate that special touch in it. And now, my eyeshadows are a little bit messy because I've been using them for the past couple days. But here is what the palette looks like. And I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram and um, videos on it and everything. It's just an array of colors. You have mattes, you have shimmers, you have satins. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And they're, they're, they're all so soft and buttery and just like, they just melt into the eyelid and they just, honest to God, like they blend, like they just blend beautifully. Like they blend like a dream. Like look at, look at those. Like, oh my gosh. It's just, the colors are just, phenomenal. Just the combination and the possibilities that you can do with this palette is just, it's, it's limitless to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy for her because she is one of those YouTubers. She's been, she's like an OG YouTuber and has been around forever. And she is just so humble and just so down to earth. And she's like, has not changed throughout her whole YouTube career. She's the same person as she was from her first video as she is to her videos today. And she is so, so deserving of this collaboration. And I, I mean, I honestly don't know why she hasn't had a collaboration sooner, but she is just so, so deserving of it. And you know, like, I'm sure you've seen other videos on it, but, like, it's just huge congratulations to her. I'm going to go ahead and cut to the film of me uh, doing the different looks that I did. I did three different looks, so we'll go ahead and we'll jump on into that. Okay, so we are going in with the Makeup Revolution the Emily edit. Uh, this is a collab with Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube. Um, we're doing the Wants palette. I'm super excited for her for this. She is someone that totally totally deserves this um and i'm surprised nobody's done a collab with her prior to this but you know i i don't know but we're gonna go ahead and go in with this palette and i'm sure you've seen this palette a hundred times you have a huge mirror which oh my god i'm like i completely appreciate that and then you have all these colors here so we're going in i already did one eye and we're just going to repeat that on my right eye and it's more of a natural look we're gonna go in with this look today well it's 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 natural for me so this we're gonna we're only gonna use a few colors in this so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in color we're gonna go in in the crease is this color right here called Midwest and we'll go ahead and jump into that <clears throat> we're just gonna use a Morphe M502 brush I like this brush for blending so we'll just go ahead, grab some on here, and put it on in. And I noticed when I did my other eye that these actually blended really, really nice. And I like Makeup Revolution eyeshadows. I have a couple of the, um, I guess they're called the Reloaded, Reloaded palettes. Um, I think that's what they're called. Oh, the drawer's closed. Um, I did a look on my channel several back this winter with one the green one it almost looks like the um what is it called the subculture palette by um Anastasia I really like the pal the makeup revolution one and I have one that's like almost like all berry colors and they just are 
they're, they blend really well and they're really creamy. All right, so we have that one going on in there. It's a really, really pretty color. We are going to go in with this color right here, right next to mid, this is Midwest. We're gonna go in this color right here, right next to it. And it is called Dues Paid. Morphe, what is this, a M516, M518 brush we're gonna use. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that in the, cre the same area, but just like a little bit lower. And we'll just get that in there. And we'll just go back with the original brush with no extra product on it and just kind of like blend it out. No harsh lines. We're going to go in with, we'll take this brush right here. We're going to go in with this color right here um, called Prayers. This one right here. And we're going to take that on a Morphe R39 brush. And I'm just going to set that right here. And I'm just kind of keeping it like right here in this area, like under the crease and like kind of like flicking it onto the lid, if that makes any sense. Like right here and then like kind of do it. We are going to go in, we are going to go in with this color right down here in the corner called Cupcake. And we're just going to put that, we are going to put that, we're going to use a MAC, uh, what is this a 212, 242, what is this? MAC, I think this is a 242 uh, brush. And we're just going to place that on the lid. So we are going to do the lower lash line and I'm going to take a flat definer brush. I'm just going to take this MAC, this is a 212, the other one was a 242. We're going to take the MAC 212 and we're going to go into the color um, right here called Pi Pi and we're just going to um, push it up along the uh, lower lash line like that. Take a pencil brush and I'm just going to take this MAC, I don't even know what it is, 213? 219, I don't know, it's more off. And we're going to take, um, we're gonna combine basic, we're gonna take the, the original, the Midwest and the Deuce Paid. We're just gonna kind of go in there and then tap that off and then add a little bit of prayers, tap that off, and then just kind of blend out the under eye. Now we're going to take this was an elf brush of some sort, but I lost the bottom part of it. But I like it for putting um, my under, my under, my brow bone. So we're going to go in with the color right here called Oh Heavens, which is right here. And we're just going to put that on this janky ass brush that I have that's falling apart. And just kind of put it under the brow bone. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush right here, which is just a contour brush, but it's like a pencil brush like, with the same Oh Heavens color. And then we're just going to put that right here in the inner corner. And here is the final look. So for the second look, we're going back in with the Wants palette, and we're going to recreate this on this side. So the first color we're going to go into is going to be, ooh, where is it? Right here. This color right here called Prayer, right? Yeah. This color right here called Prayer, and we're going to put that into the crease, and we're using a Morphe 502 brush for that. And just to let you know, too, I've already laid, I uh, primed my eyes. And I laid it down with this color right here called the cream, just to set it. I did that when I was when I did that eye. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with this color prayer. 
adjust my knee. And hold on. There you go. Into the crease. As our transition. Okay, so we're going to take this Morphe R39 brush and we're going to go back into, put this way, back into the color, where's that, right here, prayer, and we're going to put that in the brush, and we're going to take it and put it under the lower lash line. Okay, so next we're going into this color right here called Pi Fi, and it is like a um, deep purple, burgundy-ish uh, wine color kind of like. And I'm going to first start off with this Morphe M411 brush, and I did this on my other side, and it was very, I'm just going to put it like, kind of like into like the socket of the crease, but... I think this is a very, very soft brush. So we're going to have to um, just not put it in here for right now. And then we're going to build up to a different uh, brush here. So I'm going to go back, go in now with this Morphe R, RG18 brush into the Pi Fi color. And just... Load it up in there onto the outer part right there. And just a little at a time. So now that we have it built up to where we want it to be, and I apologize for the noise that you were hearing before. I have my fan on because it's like really hot back here. Um, so, okay. We have that built up. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of cut the crease or the lid or whatever you want to call it. Look up, and then where it lands, that's where we're going to cut it at. All right, so now that we did that, we are going to go back in and use this green color right here. Oops, bring the lights here. This green color is like, it's like an emeraldy. It's like an emerald green. Look at how pretty that is. And it is called Side Hustle. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on dry. Oh, my stomach's growling. I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus. And then kind of just amp up that color a little bit. And we're going to go back in with Pi Fi right here and just a little bit and we're going to like kind of like mesh it over where the green and the purple meet so it kind of like just, you know. We're going to go in with our little flat definer brush right here and we're going to go back into Pi Fi. Again, put it on there and kind of like just push it up our lash line. And we are going to go into that first color that we used in the crease right here, prayer. And we're going to put it on there and then we're just going to blend it out. And this is the final look for look number two. And now on to look number three. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to start off and just set my uh, concealer that I used as primer with this color right here called the cream. And we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of set that all over the eye. Next color we're going to go into is this one right down here called Hobby, which is a, I don't even know how to describe it, almost like a, it's like a cool brown, I guess you would say. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the crease as our transition, and we're just going to use our Morphe M502 brush 
I like this brush a lot for um, blending for the crease. Anybody else in the Chicago area having like super bad allergies right now? Like my allergies are for the past like week, week and a half have just been out of control. So annoying. Okay, so now that we have that, we're actually going to go in with a MAC uh, 217 brush and we're going to go back into the same color hobby and we're just going to kind of concentrate it more like in the crease socket right there. Okay, so we're going to go into this color right here called uh, Apartment which is a deep brown color and we are going to take that on this Morphe M433 brush and we're just going to put it like in the outer portion. So now we're going to take a MAC uh, 242 brush, just like a flat shader brush, and we're going to go in with this color right here called, where's that right here, right here, this one right here. It's called Top Story. It's a gold color, so we're going to go in with that dry first. We're going to go in with the brush dry first. It's a really pretty color, but I just want to add the amp up the intensity just a little bit so we're going to keep I'm going to put some more on the brush and then I'm going to take some fix plus onto the brush to spray just to amp up the intensity of the color a little bit there we go so now what we're going to do now that the top part of our eye is done we are going to go in and do the lower lash line and I'm going to take I'm going to start off first with this MAC uh, 212 flat definer brush and we're going to go in with this beautiful color right here called corduroy it's like a I don't even it's like the perfect fall color it just reminds me of fall it's like it's coming off a little bit brighter on the camera than what it is it's like this deep green teal but like a deep green it's not like a bright green teal it's like a deep green teal like it's a perfect fall color if you know what I'm talking about like that deep teal color for fall um so we're gonna go with that with this flat definer brush and put that all up on our uh, lower lash line start off with that Okay, and now we're going to take a, what are we going to take here? We're going to take this Morphe M431 brush and we're just going to kind of blend it out with no product, there's just no product on here. We're just going to blend this out really good and then we're going to go in. Get that blended out a little bit. Now we're going to go in with a different M431 pencil brush and we are going to go in with the original color that we used which is Hobby right here and blend with that color so it's not so harsh under there. So now that this palette it has a highlighter color which is this one right here and it's beautiful. I've used it in the past two um one, the past two looks, this Oh Heavens, it's like a, kind of like a, a champagne-y color. Um, it's perfect for a highlight, but because this look is more, it has more gold in it, I want to use a gold highlighter uh, for the inner corner and my um, brow bone. So what I'm gonna, just going to do is I'm just going to go in with my lower, 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 lower. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with my Laura Geller, my Gilded Honey, which is this right here, and we're just going to use that, um, to put on the brow bone 
with my, I don't even know, this was an e.l.f. brush. It's so janky. It's broke. This is the only part I have on it, <laughs> left on it. So we're just going to use that to put under the brow. Then we're going to use this e.l.f. brush right here, which it's a contour, e.l.f. contour brush. I got this like years ago, but I like using it, it for my um, inner corner. I'm just going to add that gold right there in the inner corner. Okay, and as you've seen, the look that I have on right now is the final look. I did this look, I uh, filmed that this morning and everything. And I actually did this look several hours ago and <laughs> I was filming this morning doing it and um, I don't know, like my time management just sucks lately and thought I had enough time to film the outro and the intro and realized I was supposed to meet my girlfriend for lunch and so now I'm back here several hours later doing this, but whatever. So yeah, so those were the three looks. And like I said, there is just so much more. I mean, the, the possibilities are completely endless with this palette, with the different looks that you can create. You can do just natural looks. You can do glam, you know, nighttime looks, daytime to nighttime, glam looks, like just colorful looks. You, there's just so much that you can do with it. So I'm definitely going to be playing around with it some more. Um, let me know down below if you'd like to see some more looks using this palette um because i would definitely like to jump in and do um a whole bunch more because it's just a gorgeous gorgeous palette and again emily whether you see this or not which you probably won't but congratulations you are so deserving of this and yeah that is everything that i have on this um before you leave, please hit that red button below and subscribe and stay a while. I would love to have you. Please give this a thumbs up if you like videos like this. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.